Hey, good afternoon guys. Ron here, Precision Sales, doing a walk around of a very nice uh, mainsail here for a Harpoon 5.2. We have constructed and designed this uh, using the Challenge uh, Warp Drive 5.11. This gentleman chose to uh, go with uh, two full battens, or, or sorry, one full batten, uh, three partial battens with one reef point. And we have added onto this the radial reinforced corners as I recommend for all radial sails. So let's take a quick walk around this sail and we'll see what we can see. Um, we'll start off, I guess, here, just to give you an idea of when you order your uh, new mainsail, how it's gonna arrive. So we've got nice uh, storage bag here, drawstring at the top, stuff sack style. So this is for longer term storage. And we've got the battens will come in a coil and just be careful opening those. They're under some tension there. But, uh, and then we've also got a uh, sail strap, sail tie that'll come with the sail as well and keep everything all nice and tight. So uh, really nice little package uh, and that arrives in a box of, as well as it gets shipped. So we'll start here in the, uh, in the tack corner as we do our little walk around and just kind of focus in. Nice size uh, ring there, tack ring, webbing, perfect. And you can see the Cunningham is on there as well. And then those radial corners coming out along with the uh, block corners underneath to make sure that nothing happens there. Now, this gentleman has a fixed foot on his harpoon. He's chose to uh, maintain that configuration. Uh, we do normally do fixed footed, but this is a bolt rope that'll slide down the, uh, the foot of the sail and that slides into the boom. And then we've also got a uh, bolt rope here on the, the mast slide that slides up the mast groove. And uh, if, if you don't like that configuration, of course, we can switch that off to a, a loose footed uh, sail as well as uh, slugs or sliders that go up uh, there as well. So um, we've got a, a couple of nice things here. Good size clue ring that'll attach uh, to his, uh, his car or his uh, shackle there. And uh, just keep walking up this, uh, this leech here. We'll stop at the reef point and a couple of things to kind of point out here. Nice tie-in configuration for his batten uh, on all of these. And notice that the corners on these are the same, whether it's a tack or a clue, but same configuration. And then these reef points, what we've done is reinforce them with this really nice reef belt and put some reinforcements at the grommets as well. So those things are gonna be rock solid. But let's uh, walk up the sail, this tri-radial, you can see the the radial design here, as it gets more um, towards the head, we get more and more vertical on these panels. And that's one of the benefits of this tri-radial sail. So we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll kind of scoot in behind here and I'll, I'll focus in quite closely so we can get a good idea of what this cloth looks like with a little bit of, a little bit of light behind her. I'm getting in quite close so you can take a look at the th tightness of that weave, that warp drive. It's almost got a little ripstop look to it, but um, have a look at that, exceptional quality. Love this stuff, we, we do a lot of sales with it. Um, the tri-radial Dacron, very robust, uh, a little bit better longevity than you're gonna get out of any of the, most of the laminates, but good price point on it. So there you go guys, uh, Harpoon 5.2 uh, mainsail made out of our Challenge Warp Drive 5.11.